each industry has its own questions. Somehow, uh, the challenge for an apparel uh, company is to make sure that you're going to come back very often, so every week you have something to buy from me. Uh, if I'm working for an automotive company, at least in France, if you bought it last week for the next three months, for the next three years, you won't be buying any, any, any car. So the question is at what time I should be talking to you, okay? So we have different questions. So to answer the different questions, we need to, ask, to use different predictive models. And so we have a large set of predictive models that are industry-based and that can answer to the question of those industries. So mainly we work with apparel retailers, we work with people doing um, um, uh, home furniture, we're working with the automotive sector and we're working also with the travel sector. So in terms of background, both uh, Olivier, uh, co-founder and, and myself, uh, we had an experience in the uh, uh, in the online, uh, so he's been with with Google for six years. I've been with uh, with Yahoo as well, and then we together in different companies. We've been working uh, on a lot of CRM data. So I've been working for loyalty programs for uh, Vodafone, Orange, and, and the large telcos of the world. And he's been building a, 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 a CRM data company that has been sold to WPP. So when we met together, we had a, a higher complementary background in terms of where we're coming from, but also he was the right technical and, and, and CTO guy where I was more uh, the right sales guy. So we decided to uh, join forces together uh, to build Advelo. Uh, so, so the cloud is, is completely uh, transformative in our industry because of course we are consuming a lot, a lot of data which requires a lot, a lot of, of, of computing, a lot of processing. And so, you know, 10 years ago we, we just couldn't have built Advelo because we would have to invest in CapEx, uh, to invest in uh, buying servers, and today we are running over 2,000 CPUs on Amazon, so buying 2,000 CPUs directly from us would just have been out of reach. Uh, so thanks to the cloud, we've been able to uh, scale and uh, to be able to test stuff, and uh, along the line, there are new customers coming to basically scale our infrastructures at the same time as scaling our revenue. So this has been making our job possible where before honey was completely impossible.